What's up guys, Demented Monkey here, and today we've got another episode of Build a Bot. This is episode 8, so leave a like if you enjoy, and remember, submit your next requests for my robots uh, next for next Wednesday. So yeah, let's get straight into it. Today is a Raider Bot, suggested by one of my close friends. Um, so he went with the Protectron head, and some really cool Raider looking... Like, I've gone for quite a Raider kind of look. So we've gone for the sort of spiky helmet kind of thing, then we've gone for quite a, I don't know, it's quite a nice um, front chest plate, and it's quite a nice back chest plate as well, as you can see. Uh, I was kind of just decided on which back plate I wanted, but yeah, I basically just decided on that one. Um, I wanted to have, I don't know, a little bit of a, a little bit of a more bulky kind of look, so I went with the sentry arms instead of the protectron arms. Um, obviously it's the Robo Brain body as well, so yeah. Uh, we put some really cool spiky looking armor on it, on uh, his arms, or on one of his arms. Uh, and then for some reason I went with, like, this smoke cloud thing. I thought it'd be cool, I thought it'd look cool. Uh, and then I attached some, like, spiky armor to that as well. But, in, in the end it, it turned out that it wasn't exactly what I was hoping for with this cool smoke cloud. Now, because it was a Raider bot, I didn't want everything to be exactly the same, so I changed the armor for the other arm, uh, just to give it a bit more variety. But this time, I gave him a skull mace, because, I don't know, I just think uh, of Raiders when I see that, so yeah. Raiders or, uh, what are they called? Super mutants. Raiders or Super mutants when I see that weapon for your robots. Uh, I didn't know what legs to put on, so I went with a robot brain treads, uh, and then I just went with some, like, tanky, bulky kind of things. Uh, I, initially I was gonna do, like, a storage robot, so it's gonna have, like, a bunch of storage and not really any weapons, just like a laser, but, I don't know, I, I wouldn't be able to add that, uh, the action sequence in, which I have done again, so, yeah. So, I've just, um, brung, you know, his little, um, so yeah, I didn't, you know, I, I, I needed an action, action sequence, so I, so I didn't um, go with a storage bot. Uh, I was just picking the paint. Um, with this like really cool armor, I reckon the vibrant colors look really cool, but I don't know, I just felt like the dark blue for this robot looked really cool. So I just went with that. Uh, on, on the screen, you can't really tell it's dark blue, but it's, I, I don't know, it's kind of a different shade. Uh, obviously then we called him Raider Bot. Uh, and then I obviously I gave him my signature random number, because I don't know, I just, because it's a robot, I just, it seems cool to give it a random uh, number, so yeah. Uh, what is the random number this time? Uh, I call it Raider... What was it? Okay, never mind. Um, come on. Probably up with your number, you faggot. Obviously, there's another voiceover because Elgato's uh, like, pre-recording thing is a, a dick, so... Is that 621? Yeah, 621. So yeah. Uh, so is Raider 621? Looking like a badass. Uh, I really like the mixture of his um, armor plates and then the leg plates with the helmet. It looks really cool. Uh, but yeah, like that little red light as well. That looks really cool. Uh, just speaking to him. I, I activated his, like, sub, like, his personality subroutine. And he's actually quite polite. But his voice is kind of scary at the same time. It, it is kind of strange. But, uh, but yeah. We're just talking to him so he can become my... Companion, like a badass. He, he, there is disadvantages to this one, and uh, I could have done a lot more of like stuff to him to make him better, uh, weapons wise, because that smoke grenade thing just wasn't happening. Like, it just wasn't good. So, now we're in the action sequence. You can see him in action. There's, we found some super mutants, and yeah, he's, he's wreck. He can wreck things as soon as like if they come up close and stuff. And the smoke grenade, it launches like a toxic gas, but I, I don't think it works on super mutants. Because uh, it takes him a little while to kill this super mutant, as you'll see. Which is why I think I need to upgrade him a little bit. Because, well, you know, that smoke grenade thing just isn't working for him. And, um, yeah, so but so if you want to see um, the him upgraded or somebody other, um, some of the other robots upgraded, or you want to see an overview of all my robots... Um, just comment down in the description that you want to see that, and yeah, I'll make it happen. Um, 
I think uh, in the 10th episode I'm going to be reviewing all my bots, so if you want me to change something about one of my robots, comment down below, um, uh, change this and this uh, in episode 10, and 100% I'll do it for you guys. I check all my comments, I might not reply to all of them, but I do check all of my comments, so yeah. Uh, I thought I'd help him out just with this little last bit of health, and I thought I'd include this clip as well because the harpoon gun from the uh, uh, the Far Harbor DLC, and then I actually got the Super Mutant's head stuck uh, to the wall, which is pretty cool. Um, I, and then I just looted him, looted his body, with, and then the, like I was gonna leave it there because I thought it'd just stay there, but apparently if you if I take my uh, my um, ammo back, my barb harpoon, the head somehow comes with it, so. Now I've got a, a, a head on a, and a harpoon, so I'm just going to be firing a, a super mutant head at everybody. So yeah guys, I've been Demanded Monkey, and I'll see you in the next one. See ya! Banana.